So DC Universe Rebirth number one is introducing a bunch of incredibly huge moments, events, and reveals, but there is one in particular that has everyone talking, so we're gonna talk about it too, and what it means, and what our reaction is to it. Huge spoilers here. Joshua, yeah, take us so away here. Speaking of spoilers, of why we're spoiling this be before it even comes out this Wednesday is because it actually leaked online last Friday, and DC gave us permission to just post the what happens, like the plot details, and, and work. so we want to talk about it, because it is crazy and huge, and final spoiler warning, here we go, Dr. Manhattan <laughs> caused the new 52, he's now part of the DC universe. Yeah. Bah! <laughs> Watchmen and the DC Universe are actually going to have some sort of story crossover. Yes, so yeah. it's worth noting that the Watchmen universe, uh, you know, was created originally as just completely standalone. Yeah. But in the, like the 80s, they made it part of the DC multiverse, so it's always sort of been there. But now they're saying that Dr. Manhattan, we don't really know the full details yet, but it sounds like he's been manip manipulating the DC Universe. In fact, they said he caused the New 52, and he's the reason that the, ca the characters sort of lost their relationship. And, and, and yeah. partnerships and friendships um, and got a little a lot darker and grittier. So uh, that 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 is insane. It it really is. Yeah, I mean, it, it just it's something I never thought would happen. You know, like you said, there was this acknowledgement in the bigger sense that okay, it's part of the multiverse, but to actually have a story crossover, to have even Batman, you know, find the comedian's pin. You How know, did that get button. there embedded in the Batcave? Right. I don't know. <laughs> no idea, but but it's just something that never seemed that would happen. I mean, it's, it's, in, it's almost, you know, we've had Marvel DC crossovers now, so this is almost like crazier because it just seemed like something they would never do. Yeah. And the idea that we don't know, but is Batman and like the comedian going to meet? Is Rorschach, you know, going to yeah. pop up? Well, uh, there's narration at the end if you, re if you pay attention, and it's actually from the very end of Watchmen, yeah. right when uh, Dr. Manhattan is talking to Ozymandias, 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 yeah. um, saying like, I've always wanted to create life, um, and uh, and he's like, well, is this the end? Uh, he's like, well, it's, it's never the end, and then he leaves. Yeah. So that's what's at the end. So I'm assuming this is picking up after that, meaning Rorschach is dead. Right, um, but there's, you know, it's comics. It, anything could happen, <laughs> yes. you're right. Although speaking And of, the comedian's dead, of course. <laughs> yes, yes, there's, there's a lot of, uh, yeah. I, the, the sky's the limit, anything could happen. I, I would hope it's more of a continuation. Because mm -hmm. um, they actually, this isn't the first time DC has gone back to Watchmen. There was sort of controversial they did before Watchmen a few yeah. years ago, um, where they you know visited the, the events before the Bunch book. Bunch of prequel stories, yeah. yeah. And there's and even in Dr. Manhattan's book, he, they show him sort of uh, experimenting with creating life, and mm -hmm. he like, like, I don't know, it's this weird imagery. And uh, it sort of looks like there's like a, a, a new like world, like universes have been created. Mm -hmm. and, and so it, you have to ask yourself, did Dr. Manhattan create the DC universe? Right, right. It's uh, how big was his influence here? So what is your first reaction to this? Just seeing that they're even doing it, what's your first reaction? Um, uh, like, uh, well, story-wise, I thought it was actually really well done, yeah. how it was like laid out and like the logic behind it. Um, and it really sets up really interesting mystery that, that, that Jeff Johns has said will be like picked up on in like the years going forward. So mm -hmm. I don't, you won't see like a ton of uh, Watchmen books released, you know, uh, right at, right out of this, you know, um, you know, a Dr. Dr. Manhattan, Dr. Dr. Manhattan book or, or like a book where he's the villain or something like that. So I think this is something we'll see play out over a long period of time. But as far as should they go back to the Watchmen well again, yeah. that, you know, I was not a fan of before Watchmen, just as an idea. I mean, some of the, the books were amazing. You have some of the world's greatest you know, cartoonists, you mm -hmm. know, writers working on this. Like Darwin Cook does a comic. I'm gonna read it. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so uh, on that hand, you know, I'm I'm uh, I, I'm 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 not. I, I feel like it's a, still a little like, can't you do something else? You know? Yeah, I'm, I'm very similar because yeah, I have to say I, I couldn't help but like geek out at the actual moments. I mean, again, Batman finding comedian's button as weird as it is, what is it doing there? <laughs> it's still like, oh my god, you know? <laughs> he might as well have found Thor's hammer. I was right. so <laughs> but but at the same time, yeah, you know, it's weird because of course, yeah, look. Uh, they're well within their rights. Of course, you create things for DC or Marvel. Uh, they own them. They can do that. But it's so sort of um, Alan Moore. It's such an auteur sort of feeling to Watchmen. So beyond Watchmen or before Watchmen was already kind of like weird that they did it. But this especially, the crossover thing, it just... 
I don't know. I hope they can make it work in a way that doesn't feel like, oh, this is something that I don't know if they should have touched. Yeah, you know? if anyone could make it work, I would say it'd be Jeff Johns. Yeah. But he's stepping away from writing comic books because, as was just announced, he's the new co-head of DC Films. He's doing working on a lot of, of that stuff, so he won't be around to write the follow-up to this. Yeah. Um, unless he plans on, like, you know, in two years from now, I'm going to do an event comic book, which could happen. But sure. I would say that that's not, doesn't seem to be... Um, you know, in the cards right now. Yeah. So um, it, it, it is kind of like, uh, I don't really know if they need to go back to the Watchmen well again, but and here's the thing. It's not like they've never done a sequel to uh, something very beloved before. The Bible got a sequel. <laughs> right, you know? right, right, right. Um, I mean, look, so, Dark, Knight, Dark Knight Returns has had sequels that no one has loved as, you know, no one is like, this is just as great as the original, but the original is still great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's happened before, like classics getting a sequel. Um, uh, but it, it just feels weird because Watchmen feels like the one that should not. Yeah. Yet they keep kind of doing it. Yeah. Because it, it's not because it, it as itself as a work is sort of a deconstruction of superhero um, like comic books in the first place. Yeah. And so to bring it and like do the crossover thing and have the characters show up again and reuse them and, and tell their prequel stories, it's almost like like muddying that idea. It seems weird. Yeah, I think that, I think you hit the nail on the head there of, it seems like a weird story to franchise. Yeah. You know, because by its nature, it seemed to be its own complete tale that was telling its story and deconstructing the comic genre. So it's kind of funny to see it kind of get co-opted like this uh, in this crossover. Not to say it's not going to be a good story, and I think we're both excited by this first issue. Uh, but yeah, there's a little trepidation there. Yeah, but I would say just overall, it's uh, despite all that, those kind of like uh, icky feelings yeah. that it gives me overall, I'm always in comic books for a good story. Mm -hmm. So if they put, you know, some world-class talent on that and they have a lot of that working for them right now, I'm, I'll be there. For issue number one, and I'll, I, I will be, I'll be a fan of it if it's good. If it's a good story, and we know it'll piss off Alan Moore, but so does everything. <laughs> He's a brilliant writer, not the happiest guy. So what yeah. can you do? Um, so yeah, those are our initial thoughts on uh, the DC uh, Universe rebirth and this huge Watchmen crossover. It seems they're doing. Let us know what you think. Uh, you know, are you excited by the idea? Or are you thinking they should never have touched this idea? And for plenty more on all things going on with DC and Watchmen, keep it here at IGN.